Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here, and in this video, I'm once again joined by my homie. Go ahead, bro. Introduce yourself. What up, fam? Jurassic World 60 once again here. For sure. Now, this is the video I've been wanting to make for a while. What happened to Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man after Spider-Man 3? So let's get started. I guess I'll start off with this one because Tobey's my favorite. Jurassic World 16 started off with the other video because Andrew's his favorite. So here we go. I believe after Spider-Man 3, here are the villains I think he fought. I'm guessing, I'm based off the Spider-Man 4 script, he fought the Vulture, he fought Mysterio, and um, who else was planning to be in Spider-Man 4 besides those two in Black Hat? Was, was there anyone else or just those three? I did hear that it would either be the Lizard or Carnage. Hmm. Well, like I, I heard rumors that if they made, if they were gonna make another trilogy, uh, the Lizard and Scorpion were gonna be in Spider-Man 5, and apparently Spider-Man 6 would have been Carnage. Oh, right, that's what I was already at. So, true, true. So I'm guessing a few years after the events of Spider-Man 4, he fought the lizard, and perhaps this lizard looked more like the comics and had the long snout, because it wouldn't make the sense if it looked the exact same as Andrew's lizard. So that's what probably happened. And um, I'm guessing uh, Tobey Maguire, you know, a couple of years after Spider-Man 3, he probably graduated from Dr. Carter Connor's class. He probably doesn't work at the Daily Bugle anymore. He probably has a job as a scientist similar to the comics, which is why he looked more rich in, in Spider-Man No Way Home with his new outfit. Indeed. So I'm guessing he probably moved out of Mr. Dickovich's apartment and probably has his, his own house now. Um, I think it's po I think it is very possible he got married to Mary Jane. And the reason why is because in No Way Home, he did say that, you know, it took a while, but we, but we made it work with MJ, remember? It's most possible, despite him not wearing a ready ring, perhaps the, she is still most likely uh, his girlfriend. For sure, yeah. And um, I don't know if, I, I I still think he's not really over Harry's death because when Tom asked him about his best friend, he didn't say he had a new best friend. He still is not really over the fact that he lost his true best friend, which was Harry, you know? He owes a lot to that man. For sure. Now, his, his aunt probably is still alive 14 years later, but she's probably really old to the point where she's at an old age home now. Mm, it could possibly. She's in the hospital. Uh, probably on the brink of death any time now. Yeah, his poor Aunt May is probably going to pass away soon. Um, I'm trying to think what else happened to him. See, I, I highly doubt he's working at Daily Bugle anymore because the money there wasn't the greatest. And since he's graduated from university, it means he's going to have a steady job with better income, right? Mm, absolutely. For sure. And, of course, he probably, you know, end up getting much more better experience as Spider-Man fighting throughout the years. His costume pretty much looks the exact same. Um, I think we talked about all the villains he fought. He fought the Lizard. He fought Carnage. He fought uh, Vulture, Mysterio, pr probably Scorpion, and uh, he probably fought Black Cat for a bit, but then eventually it, she probably became good, because I think in the comics she got along with them well, right? Hey, yep, I did hear somewhere in the Spider-Man 4 script that Vulture would have been revealed to be uh, uh, a Black Cat's uncle or oh, someone else. Interesting, interesting. And I'm trying to think what else happened to Peter. I mean, it is possible he probably has some other friends, but he probably doesn't have a, a true best friend because obviously Harry Osborn was his true best friend, right? Yep. And I'm trying to think what else happened to him after Spider-Man 3. He probably, as I said, became a better fighter. He probably, became, you know, it probably took him a, like a year or two to get over the fact that he lost so much people because like in just a, within a few years um, from Spider-Man to Spider-Man 3, he lost so many people. He lost... His parents he lost his uncle he lost his best friend his best friend's father like he lost a lot of people he loved and dr otto octavius he lost all the good people you know yep for sure uh, we do know sandman is still most likely alive yeah sandman's still alive and he's probably you know good now and he probably helped out his daughter so he's probably you know perhaps maybe um i think it is possible sandman probably helped him to defeat a couple of those villains like could, I, I could just picture sandman and spider-man teaming up to defeat carnage in spider-man 6 what do you think I would like that. For sure. Uh, it could be that, um, as shown in a few of the latest scenes from Spider-Man 3, uh, Sandman's daughter wasn't going to feel any better, which was sad if you really think about it. For sure, yeah, that is sad. But like, I wonder, I wonder what Carnage would look like in Toby's universe. It probably would, it probably would look somewhat similar to the live-action Carnage we did see recently. But I don't think it would look the exact same based off because the symbiote in Toby Maguire's universe is different. So my prediction is that it would have the same, not the same design as Spider-Man Three Venom, but like I think it would be roughly that size. But of course, it wouldn't have any webs in the costume. 
um it probably would have those long you know four long spotted arm tentacles i'm guessing and it probably would have two versions it would have that version and it would probably have the big venom version like we saw in spider-man 3 but of course it would be red and black what do you think and i could just imagine that version of carnage less thing off as he kills a bunch of people for sure and like if you if you look at all the like you know deleted scripts for the second Spider-Man trilogy that got canceled, which will hopefully come back, Jim Carrey was actually planned to play Carnage, which I thought I think I personally think he'll be a great Cletus uh, Cletus Kennedy. What do you think? In my opinion, he definitely would have done a better job than Woody Harrelson. I agree too, because like it's just the way he laughs. Like he has he hasn't he he could do a really good job with the evil laugh, you know? Mm-hmm. For sure, yeah. And who's gonna play Vulture again? I forget in Toby's universe. Yeah, uh, John Malkovich. Oh, who's who's gonna play uh, Mysterio? Yeah, uh, what was it? What was his name? Um, um, uh, uh, Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell. That's him. Oh, cool, cool. And I believe Anne Anne Hathaway was planned to, to do a Black Cat, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that, yeah that, they were planning to use her. That's interesting, it. interesting. Now the good news is, guys, if you do watch some new videos, it is actually kind of confirmed that. Toby Maguire's last movie will not be Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, it's it's still not confirmed whether Spider-Man 4 is happening or not, but he is going to return as Spider-Man in the future. I do hope that he gets one more trilogy because, the, like, as me and Jurassic just went over, there's so much story to tell with them between Spider-Man 3 and Spider-Man No Way Home. That's 14 years of how many villains he's fought, his new life story. Like, it's so much to tell. Like, in, like Jurassic Later 16, in your personal opinion, do you think Toby does Maguire needs one more trilogy to wrap up his story? Oh, well, considering how old the man is getting, I say he would either would like to do either at least one or two more Spider-Man films, and Sam Raimi has to be involved. True, true. Yeah, hopefully he gets another trilogy or a couple more films just so they can wrap up the like the films, because like, it's just you can't really wrap up a film in just one movie, you know? You got to do a few <laughs> movies to wrap them up, you know? But I will say this though, if he gets three more movies, then I, I what's it called? I'll be satisfied and I'll, you know, I'll be ready to say my uh, goodbyes to Tommy Maguire's Spider-Man because at least by then he'll have his full story revealed. We know exactly what happened to him, and like obviously he'll be sad to say goodbye to him, but at least this time we'll, we'll be able to say goodbye to him satisfied, you know? Yeah. And I don't mean goodbye like he's dying. I mean like goodbye to him as Spider-Man by then. Yep. True. And with Andrew, I'd be satisfied if he got. Um, uh, if he doesn't get another trilogy, I, I'd be a little upset. But if he gets at least two more films, I'm satisfied. Two more films with him with a big role, then I'm satisfied. Same here. For sure. Like, for example, like the Amazing Spider-Man three and four is what we hopefully will get, and maybe he returns in multiverse again as well as Toby. Because like Doctor Strange, the new one that's coming out next year, I believe is it's actually directed by Sam Raimi and it's also multiverse. So put two and two together, that means Toby must probably is probably back in there too. Since this is Sam Raimi we're talking about, that movie is going to be terrifying. For sure, yeah. Sam Raimi is really good with the horror in, in his movies, that's for sure. But I, I just wonder what else What else do you think happened to Toby? Do you think we covered everything? Because, I mean, we talked about the villains. We talked about his, where he currently works. Um, he probably has a house by now. Kids? I don't know if he has... I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if he had a kid, to be honest. But what do you think? I don't think he had kids. Not really. True. If he did have kids, he would mention it. For sure. I feel like he doesn't. He didn't have kids because he's too busy being Spider-Man. And on top of that, when he's not Spider-Man, he's working. So he doesn't have time for kids, you know? No, not at all. But I feel like he definitely has a house by now. Because he's like, he's 37 years old in the MCU, you know? And most probably living with Mary Jane. Yep. That's for sure. But, um, anyways, did, we, did I miss anything that I didn't say? What do you think, Rose? Is there anything else that happened to him? Nope. I think we covered everything. For sure. But anyways, guys, tell us, what are your thoughts on Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man? What do you think happened to him after the 14 years? Do you believe that he fought all these villains? What do you think he currently works? Because, like, we can't guarantee this happened to him, but, like, this is a good 80 to 90% chance of what happened to him because it makes sense based off all the scripts we saw for the second trilogy that got canceled. So, Sam Raimi, if you're watching this video, which you probably won't, please don't cancel the Spider-Man 4, 5, and 6. We need it. And hopefully we also get, um, I think Mark Webb was the director for Amazing Spider-Man, or is it someone else? I forget. Uh, it is Mark Webb for Amazing Spider-Man. True. And Mark Webb, please bring back the Amazing Spider-Man 3 and more. Hopefully we get all that, because we deserve it to wrap up their story completely. Thanks. For sure. But anyways, guys, tell us your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Make sure you follow and subscribe to my best friend, Jurassic Lord 16. He is the homie. That's me. Yeah. Before I end this video, I just want to thank all my fans who enjoy my content. All your support means a lot. 
If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying my content, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're alerted for my next video on YouTube. Post a positive comment, share this video with everyone, and leave a like as well. Also, if you wish to see all my Patreon offers, then click the description of this video for a link to my Patreon page. If you wish to follow me on Instagram or Twitter for other cool content that I don't post on YouTube, then check out the description below for links. And if you wish to donate to my channel to support me, then check out my PayPal. The link for that will be in the description below. Also, last few things. If you're interested in joining my YouTube team, here are the current things I'm looking for. A 2D or 3D animator, a person who can create soundtracks, an artist to help me create merch for clothes. If you're wondering what's in it for you, here's what I offer. One, a shout out at the end of every video I upload with all your social media links. Two, working with me will help you practice your skills to improve. Three, if I get any Patreon or PayPal donations, I will split the profit with you 50-50. Four, if you become my artist and I get t-shirt sales, then I will split the t-shirt sales I make with you 50-50. And that's everything that's in it for you if you join my YouTube team. I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.